the madman. I've seen David Kim on the ladder, and he is a uh, OG StarCraft II designer. Oh, of course David Kim is a uh, maverick. He's playing the Delhi Sultanate. I do think that is the real David Kim. David Kim is rank 38 US. Wow, with Delhi. Cool. I think uh, in the StarCraft 2 days, he was uh, pretty high rank as well. I don't know if he ever made it to Grandmasters. I don't remember what part of StarCraft 2 he was a part of, but he was part of the actual team. He might, in fact, be taking notes for the next, uh, Blizzard RTS game. It's gotta happen at some point. Warcraft 4, StarCraft 3... Something something... Warcraft Reforged... It was the head of the balancing team. Cool. I, I remember, he used to, like, play random. Starcraft 2 remastered or reforged rather Um, is this the sieve that gets the free battering ram thing? Also, holy crap, that's a lot of spearmen. This is not the free battering ram, okay. This is the wall sieve. Huh, I wonder if he's like, using those to build walls. Let's keep an eye on where these guys are going. I'm going to have to build archers against, like, that many spearmen early. An obligation. I'm definitely obligated to not build horses, also. Oh, hello. Alright, that's a pretty big commitment. I'll let this go. Not like I really have a choice. Okay, he's keeping me away from the gold and the, uh, berry bush. The secret is just to not fight it if it's not worth fighting over. I know that the opponent's committing, like, a decent amount of resources and accept the trade-off. Very zen style of play. That might be one of my strengths as a player. Just knowing when to chill. It's fine, it's fine. 
etc. I think it does only cost 25 wood. It's not a big deal. But I'd still rather not lose it. Okay, some sacred sight pressure. Oh, this is the uh, King of the Hill map. Interesting. Okay. We're gonna go to sudden death, I see. I like it. Looks like this game is going to be decided in feudal age. Mm, not necessarily. No, not necessarily. Doesn't have to be that extreme. I've definitely had problems with um, quite a lot of good Delhi players though, which just go for the um, who go for the the secret site very quickly. The secret sites in this map. There's only one though. Oh, there's two. There's three. I actually didn't know. Gonna be a lot of fighting across the map. This will be a fun one. Step on it! Gotta stop these guys from just taking all these. Sibolies! Sibolies! Sarate Equites! Ordici 
Try to overload my brain, I see. Fortunately for me, I had a decent number of uh, resources behind my base. This game probably would have been a lot harder if I didn't. You can see that strategy like being pretty effective. Definitely had games, and I suspect Mr. Kim has had plenty of games where he just controls all the sacred sites while he uh, pressures me at the front, but he broke out, so that's good. Still don't know what he's doing, but I'll find out very soon. It's an elephant! Okay, elephants, uh... Yeah, the only counter I know of is to build a lot of spears. Basically a walking fortress. Don't try to engage the fortress. I looked up the guy's stats. Uh, the, the elephants. And elephants are pretty insane. But the cost requirements of building elephants is also insane. Might be able to take out this elephant with my entire army. I think we can do this. And that's a good deal for me. Uh, each elephant taken down is actually a huge deal. That's like a town center. Okay. 
Okay, that's really good for me. Wait, the elephant isn't dead. That's really bad for me. That's terrible. Stab it! Stab the elephant to death! Get them while before they have critical mass. Holy cow, how is he escaping with all these elephants? Yes. <laughs> We gotta stab that elephant before it heals up. It's actually so important. I don't think I've ever been this active on the map before. Delhi's forcing me to be active. The sacred sites. Jesus. Oh no, no. I hope I have the counter accurate. I think Spears counter the Archer Elephant. If they don't, I'm in trouble. Oh, 
Yeah, it's, it's a good comp. Elephants plus monks. But I do have to make sure that... I mean, I have to kill the monks so that they don't heal the elephants. Elephants are really, really slow. So the walls will slow them down. If it looks dumb but it works, it's not dumb. I really want to upgrade the uh, spearmen to be the cooler guys. As I get to the next stage, I want to like do all this tech. So I'm gonna. The moment I get to that next stage, we're gonna build a lot of tech. Bum bum bum. Some economics. Also, I think I forgot the tier one side. Okay, we're good. And we're just going to go for the all spearman army. He's using the timing attack. That's very good, Kim. Of all the upgrades that I... That's horse! Okay, I'll just wait. I'll just wait. do an anti-timing myself. Get the fence up! Get the fence! Just need a little time. Kick these in. Have these kick in. They're on the rampage! <laughs> Alright, this looks really good. 
I think this is the hard counter. We've got him in a really awkward spot. I hope this works. Okay, we need some anti siege for the siege. And Kim, I heard you liked sacred sites. What if I played the sacred site game? Got him like caught at the perfect spots all the time this game. It's because of the wall. But actually, I think a good part of it is because of the wall. It's limiting the options. It's definitely building Mangan Mills. Throw, don't throw! Where is my monk? Oh, 
Where's my villager? Oh, I'm not stronger there. Might actually be in the awkward spot where if I'm full, I because I'm at full pop, I lose. So I think I have to sacrifice here. And then just quickly rebuild behind it. Just sacrifice a little bit, I guess. Didn't I get that off Grudar? Got the elite man at arms instead, which is fine. Man at arms are still good. Switch from spearmen to men, I think. Archers are still kicking. Impressive. God, he disrupted so much. If I didn't have this giant wall, I'd be doomed. Or is this a false sense of security? Is there a wall breach? No, he just comes in from the center. Oh, shit. 
Wait, how are they still here? Wait, where's my economy? You know, this wall, this palisade wall is keeping me in the game. Sick palisades, bro. That's fine, that's fine. It did take a very large part of the map, which means that I have more resources. I have all the relics, except that one. And I'll go get that one. And I can start doing the cross the map trade if I think that's a good idea. I think it's time to like start throwing resources at each other and blowing them up. and mass anti siege there. And keep setting up the defend all the sacred sites pressure. Furthermore, once I get enough stone, we can go for the uh, cooler victory. 
Because I'm rich. I think I better not buy my way into it just because the opponent could have a lot of resources stockpiled. Hold on, I'm the French. We should take advantage of this bonus. We can do like a sudden swap if I think it's a good idea. Ah, I cost so much stone. Whatever, it's fine. I'm getting ready for my massive tech switch. So if I lose a battle, we'll be switching to rock. Ah bien, bien, je le vais faire. Je prends cure de se maintenir. Point de repos pour Oye, nous avons un port. Allez, I might have starved him from gold, and my situation is so good that I don't realize how poor he is. But also, it's possible that, you know, it's really good in... Do I actually need to build a ton of stuff? Expected to lose that. It's fine. Here for phase two. I don't think I could actually afford the wonder. We need all the resources to rebuild. Alright! 
It must suck to be poor. <laughs> I have so much money. In this way, the sacred sites are basically just a way to get your opponent to have to go into a worse encounter. Ooh, GG! It's like paying 3k of each resource to just get your opponent to attack is a lot. I can't believe it! We beat David Kim! I play so much better against good players! <laughs> so poor David Kim. Ho, 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 ho. That is the power of production.